Let's cross over to Paris now and have uh, a sport journalist join us. Michael Obasi uh, joins us from Paris this morning. Good morning, Michael. Uh, good to have you on EDBS Sport this Wednesday morning. It's a pleasure to be on your show today. Yeah, thank you so much. I, I know uh, most people, of course, um, I know you more as Obasi, of course. Uh, now, let's talk about Team Nigeria so far. Not too good news uh, last night uh, from uh, the camp of the team. Oburududu, favor of feeling, not what we're expecting. Uh, but uh, give us a sense of the mood among the athletes. Uh, you've interacted with a couple of them. Uh, of course, uh, the ministry officials also. What is the mood like? Uh, Toby just made the semi-final. And um, what is the mood like generally among the athletes in Paris? I won't lie to you. Uh, the, the mood is that of uh, being happy. The mood is that of being expectant. Uh, we're not too excited, uh, but we are just uh, are still very hopeful that we will not come back uh, empty-handed. Uh, we've been pregnant of a medal since the start of the Olympic Games. Uh, our two were aborted yesterday. There were a lot of optimism that... Uh, uh, Bo did especially, uh, we get something yesterday, but uh, uh, unfortunately she could not uh, uh, get that bronze medal. And there will be so much talk about her uh, fitness coming to these Olympic Games. Uh, there will be talk about her, uh, uh, she was not 100 percent fit for these things. But her track record in the past uh, was good enough to convince uh, the Federation to bring her here. But it has shown that, yes, uh, the age is telling on her, and that fitness showed her. Uh, in that third place, uh, match against uh, uh, the Japanese, she lost to. Uh, she started very well again in the, in the quarterfinals, but uh, she failed. Uh, for favor of Philly, there were small margins of opportunity that she could get the medal. Uh, looking at it, was the third fastest in the third uh, of the 200 meters. But again, just my fever, the Americans uh, uh, and they were keeping their best for the last. Uh, she cried like a baby. She needed to stay in the tunnel. She wanted to give Nigeria the best. Our first medal in Paris, I started of France uh, yesterday. But unfortunately, she finished six uh, with some uh, uh, hundred of seconds uh, uh, for her not to get that third place. So the mood is not that of excitement at all. We are just being very hopeful that, yes, uh, uh, it will not be a disaster. Nine billion uh, for these Olympic Games. Uh, but again, there was some, uh, some mixed uh, uh, excitement about a uh, personal best and here and there. Yesterday was the first time we get to. The final of the long jump. Having three Nigerians in the final has never happened in the long jump. Uh, three Nigerians, of course. So, uh, aside for S.A. Brome, I did throw that Nigerian go to the final. So we are very hopeful that uh, out of the 12 lineup in the final, that three Nigerians, at least one, uh, or even two, to give us uh, a, a podium finish. And uh, for uh, uh, the guy yesterday that got to the final, Gazi of the 100 mm -hmm. meters, uh, also, we are looking forward to that later today. Open that uh, it is the first time Nigeria has been to the final of the 400 meters in about 30 something years after uh, Ogbonike. Uh, so, th these are some of the uh, few chemistries of optimism, cherry uh, news that we've gotten, but uh, they can't be they can't be as close as getting a medal. And uh, we, we, are, we are long overdue for a medal in this Paralympic Olympic Games, and uh, uh, that is where the mood has been. Done. Yeah, I agree with you. Now, looking at the remaining events that we have, what are our best chances? I mean, Toby just made the semi-final. We are, I expect, of course, to uh, make it uh, to the final. Uh, we've seen Nigerian athletes have made it to the final. O Ophili was able to do that. What are our best chances? Uh, what, uh, of course, in terms of hope that uh, Nigerians can follow in the remaining days of this Olympics and say, uh, at least uh, we can get something. What are our best chances in these uh, remaining days of the Paris Olympics? I'm frankly speaking, um, being a journalist, uh, being uh, uh, someone closer to the event here, yeah, the best chance for us is, is, is Toby Amoso. Mm -hmm. He's a poster girl of our athletes. Uh, that is the best chance of us getting a medal at this Olympic Games. Uh, of course, uh, uh, we are thinking that both do do it. Are they is yet to have our own? Uh, but I won't lie to you, uh, but most of it is our best chance, uh, mm. unless we see some miracles uh, in, the, in, in athletics. But Toby Amoso is still our best chance. Uh. In basketball, we are playing the United States later tonight. Yeah. Nine thirty, <laughs> of course, uh, Paris time and eight thirty Nigerian yeah, time. Uh, yeah. We are praying for the miracle of uh, Atlanta 96 uh, to happen to the girls. Uh, 
they've gone this far, they've point above their weight. Yeah. And if they can go one past the number one player footballing nation in the world in basketball, the female basketball team of America, that would be that would be the story of the Olympic Games, not only for Nigeria, mm. but for Paris or for these Olympic Games uh, in its entirety. So we are looking for a miracle there, but our best chance to remain uh, to be a motor most early. Okay. Now, just quickly, I, I know you have so many reports to file. Uh, so just uh, finally, uh, of course, um, uh, that uh, issue yesterday, uh, Ola GD, Ola Inka, uh, reacting, of course, to the tweets of the minister around training grants for local and foreign base athletes. Uh, a couple of our colleagues also had uh, to talk about that. Uh, what do you make of uh, that uh, particular issue, the disparity in the amount being paid to the foreign and the local base athletes for their training grant? Now, kudos must go to this current minister, by the way, uh, because before now, there were no training grants for local base athletes. Uh, they were only receiving camping allowance and a couple of other allowances. What do you make of that? And what, of course, uh, you are close to the media aid of the minister right there in Paris uh, together. What uh, are you getting from uh, the office of the minister? Uh, and what do you think uh, should be the way forward? I think the way forward is so simple. The way forward should be uh, an egalitarian an, an system. Uh, where the foreign athletes and the local athletes get the same allowances. Uh, uh, when when they go to tournament to represent us, uh, they represent us at equal level, uh, putting the flag of this nation at a global stage. So I think uh, there should not be any disparity at all. That level. I'm one of those that... that Okay, uh, oh, well, let's see if, um, okay, Obasi, continue, just quickly wrap up, the network trying to play pranks with us. Uh, I think, I think, I think I support totally that, that there should be, there should be a, uh, an egalitarian system where uh, there's no disparity, no matter where you are, as long as you are representing this nation uh, at international tournaments, uh, so I think that uh, I totally agree with him that uh, there should not be any disparity at all, and uh, I, just, I just think that uh, this means that to follow through his action. It's, it's worth that, that uh, at least both home and abroad should get the same money. That's the only way those back home here, of course, uh, we always know that, yes, uh, even with my sweat and blood, uh, Nigeria understand and, of course, respect uh, and honor everything we put into representing our fatherland. Yeah, that is it, uh, of course, a good place to leave it. Thank you so much, uh, Michael Obasi. And um, I'm happy also you referenced that quite uh, emotional scene from Ophili last night. And kudos to a number of you out there, our colleagues, who were on ground to comfort her, uh, led by the likes of Grace Adams of Radio Nigeria and a couple of other colleagues, of course. Thank you so much. Do have a great day in Paris. And hopefully, when you are returning with Team Nigeria, you'll be returning with medals that we can celebrate, of course. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Au revoir. Yeah, yeah, of course, uh, uh, Obasi is already speaking French in Paris, of course, right there.